whoever predicted that Anakaya Senhofer would win the Tokyo Olympic road race might have been fooled still, the Austrian surprised friend and foe by taking the gold, she was the best of a long flight with five women to take a generous lead, since the chase didn't get going, she was able to stay ahead and win, solo the road race for women was over 137 kilometers, in which 2692 meters of height difference had to be bridged, as with the men, the start was at Musashi Nanamori Park, and the finish was at Fuji International Speedway, the women had to face two very tough climbs, of which the climb on Daoshi Road was the toughest, the skull was only 59 kilometers long on paper, but the road started to climb much earlier, then it kept going up and down until the finish unlike the men, the Mikuni Pass was missing the biggest favorites. These were mainly the women in orange with title defender Anna van der Breggen, Anemiek van Vluten, Mary Ann Vos, and the next big thing Demi Vollering the Netherlands therefore had four contenders for gold, and that was also the disadvantage there were no servants in the plough, and that meant that a third dog could sometimes run with the gold names such as Lizzie Dagnan, Lot Kopecky, Alyssa Longo Borgini, Mavi Garcia, Katarzyn and Uyadoma and Marta Cavalli were eligible but Anna Kaisen have her five refugees take a generous minute, lead trace was started at one o'clock local time, and a leading group was formed early on Anna Plichta, Carla Oberholzer, Anna Kaisenhefer, Vera Lucer and Omer Shapira joined forces a few riders tried to make the connection, but it remained with five attackers, they then managed to gain a 10-minute lead, on the long climb of Daoshi Road, the leading group thinned out, at first it went too fast for Lucer, then Oberholzer also had to pass behind that, the chase got off to a slow start, so that the lead of the three remaining refugees with 70 kilometers to go was still more than nine minutes, at 64 kilometers from the finish, there was also a fall of some big names, Emma Norsgaard, winner of a stage in the Girodon, fell badly to the ground, and Anemiek van Vluten tumbled unhappily over the Danish, after the bicycles were untangled, both women were able to continue on their way with 61 kilometers to go, Demi Vollering opened the race in the peloton, the fact that the winner of Liege best only Jan Lacorstikagep could, could not leave the competition unanswered, and the American Lee Thomas brought the others back, then it was Van Vloot, who had fallen just before that, and Thomas's compatriot Ruth Winter, who tried the game was on the wagon due to the skirmishes, the difference with the three leaders was for the reduced it. And a half minutes Van Vluten solo in the counter attack at 577 kilometers from the finish, and a Van der Breggen also gave it a shot, causing more and more women in the back of the pack to go overboard. After Van der Breggen, Van Vluten shook the tree again three kilometers later, the Moby Star rider tried again, this time taking a serious gap behind her in the pack. Her attack is covered by Marianne Vos in 10 kilometers, she already had a minute but five minutes ahead of her, it was still the leading group that was on the medal, tracked escapees initially had a numerical majority against Van Vluten, but with 41 kilometers to go, Kaya Senhefer released her fellow refugees Plichtu and Shapira, so that it was no longer a three against one, but a woman against woman fight nevertheless, Van Vluten didn't seem strong enough today to close the gap to the front, as she got stuck five minutes from the lone front runner. the Austrian in the lead was also not the First with three national titles in the time trial to her name after Lot Kopecky, Katarzyn and Uyadoma, Christine Majerus and Olga Zabelinskaya tried to counter-attack together, Van Vluten was overtaken by Kopecky at 25 kilometers from the finish, with the strongest of the peloton around her wheel, Kaya Senhofer started the final 177-kilometer loop on and around Fuji Speedway, with two minutes ahead of her former breakaway teammates Plichtu and Shapira and more than four minutes ahead of the pack Plichtu and Shapira were caught up with four kilometers from the finish that happened far behind Kaya Senhofer, who caused a huge surprise with gold after 137 kilometers and a long attack for the 30-year-old Austrian, it was by far the highlight of her cycling career, anemic Van Vluten seized the silver after a late attack,